Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Many people aren't aware that there's a lot of powerful search features in Lightroom. You could search for images that have a specific focal length they were shot at, ISO, shutter speed, a specific camera you may have used, or a specific lens, and so on. All these features are in Lightroom, but they're kind of hidden. Now, I'm not really talking about or necessarily referring to the filter bar features that are down here at the bottom of the library module just above the film strip. Of course, from here, you could do some quick filtering of the images that are in the film strip. You could filter them by pick flag, reject flag, whether they were processed or not processed, whether they contain a specific star rating or color label. Not talking about that, I'm talking about these other features, search features that are kind of hidden. To get them, get to them, what you need to do is go to the folder first that you want to search. Now I could search this specific folder that contains 111 images or any other folder, or if I want to search my entire Lightroom library, just go to the root folder. The root folder, of course, contains all the other folders and all the images, 71,550 images. So I'll go to that. I'm going to search every image in my Lightroom library. Then you need to go to grid view. To go to grid view, hit the G key on your keyboard and you'll be in grid view. Then you should notice along the top this library filter bar. If you're not seeing that, you could toggle that on by hitting the forward slash key on your keyboard. The forward slash key will toggle that off and on. Once you have it displayed, you'll see along the top you could search for by first by text and by default you'll be searching for text in any searchable field in the metadata so i could put any type of you know text in here let's say sun so when i put sun in there it's searching all the metadata that has searchable fields and finding images that have sun in any of those fields now i could put one more than one word here i mean if i wanted to put uh, c sun and c then it's going to search for both those words all those words you could see by default there and so on now i could clear that for a moment now by default it's showing any searchable field if you just want to search file names or the copy name the copy name is another field that's in the metadata the title if your image has a title a caption keywords and so on so you could search by that and then does it contain all the words or just contains the words or contains a word doesn't contain a word you're searching for or it starts with so if you're searching for let's say sun it'll also include sunshine let's say if you have that there or ends with the word so if you search for shine and it will show a word that shows let's say a keyword sunshine it would show that so you could search by those different uh, operatives as well. So the text searching is very powerful. Now the attribute searching, the very next column here, this is pretty much the same as this bar that's down here in the library module, where you could search by the flag status. If it has a pick flag, let's say you would click there. And if it has no flag or a reject flag, or if it's processed, not processed, a star rating, color label. Now, one thing I want to make you aware of with the star ratings, right now it's set to less than or equal to. If I click on that, I could make it to greater than or equal to. So only images that are greater than or equal to, let's say, four stars. And it's showing that. Um, then I could change it um, exactly equal to four stars. So be aware of that. So we'll clear that right now just to clear it just click on it again and you'll clear it or a color label so if I want to search for images that just have let's say a red color label I could do that it's only one image in my entire library if I want to turn it off just click on it again and we'll turn it off now what type of images you have master images or master photos and you have virtual copies do you want to just search the master photos that's that first icon Virtual copies are the second icon. And there's a third category, actually, videos. Do you want to just search videos? I don't have any videos at all in my Lightroom library, but if I did, I'd be able to search for them right there. So that's the attribute um, search uh, fields, which is pretty much the same as what's down here. 
uh, in the um, uh, area that's just above the film strip in the library module. This doesn't contain the kind, though, uh, meaning master photos, virtual copies, and videos. That's not included down there. Now, next to that is metadata, and this is probably what I use the most. Now, when you click on metadata on your computer here, let's say I got an attribute on there too. When you click on metadata on your computer, it probably won't look like what mine looks like right now. You could see from the left to the right, I have four columns. One's labeled date, one's camera, one's lens, and one's focal length. Um, you can see by the date, I could just search for images in 2019 in a specific month that I shot them, something like that. Uh, to the right of that, I have camera. I could search for just images that were shot with a specific camera. For, ex camera. for example, a Sony a7R4. Those are the images there. A7R2, uh, A7S2, I'm sorry. Those are the images I shot with that camera and so on. So I could search for a specific camera. Again, though, I'm searching my entire Lightroom library, again, because I'm in that master folder. Um, lenses just a specific focal length lens like a shot with uh let's sign find one i didn't shoot a lot of images um 14 to 24 f at 2.8 uh, so there's our images i just shot with the 14 to 24 lens and so on then over here focal length here let's just find images i shot at 14 millimeters right okay so you could search by all these fields now i mentioned that your Lightroom metadata tab might not contain four columns and it might not contain the exact search fields or columns that mine is. That's because you could change this. For example, if I don't want to search by lens, I could click this little fly out menu and you could see I could search by shutter speed, aperture, I mean all these different fields. There's quite a few there. So I could search by like ISO speed. So I want to just search for images I shot at 102,400 ISO. <laughs> There's a lot there of my cat, one of my cats. So um, lots of different uh, features here. Just go to this drop down and you could search for pretty much uh, anything that has a specific um, label to it, I guess you could say. Now, if you don't um, want to see all four of these columns, there's too many, click right here and you could remove that column. So now I only have three columns. If you want to add a new column, click right there and you could add a column. So um, the reason why you may want to have more than one column is because uh, you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to search by more than one column. Meaning I want to search for images that were all, that were taken in the year 2019. So I'll go there. And then I want to search for images in 2019 that were shot my Fujifilm X-T3. So I could go there with the 16 to 55 f2.8 lens. So you could see I could go right across and I could do really narrow this down. Not only that, though, I could add another uh, one of these attributes or these other filters going across the top. So I could go to attribute, add that, and I want to look at those uh, columns that I have listed down here, 2019 XT3s shot with the 16 to 55 millimeter f2.8 lens, um, all three focal lengths, let's say, and uh, then that have a flag status and so on. So I could double up on all these. I could get rid of that, get rid of that. Now, right now I'm searching my entire Lightroom library. I'm in here in the master folder. If I click to a different folder or if I even go to a collection, all this will get turned off. So it won't be applicable anymore. If I want to keep my filter going when I go to a different folder or collection, what I could do is then lock this little padlock over here. So once I lock that little padlock, then it will stay persistent that, that those Filters will stay persistent when I go from folder to folder, collection to collection, and so on. So, you know, when I usually keep it off because usually I search for something, find it, and then I don't need to keep this on anymore. Uh, but you could then manually come in and just kind of reset these things back to the beginning if you want. So you can see that these um, search, um, the search capability that's in Lightroom is pretty powerful and often overlooked. A lot of people don't even uh, kind of realize that it's there. 
Hopefully this helps you find some images in your Lightroom library uh, when you're looking for something. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.